Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty well, thank you for asking. Well here we are guys, the third and final movie in the Netflix trilogy, Fear Street. <clears throat> this one's called Fear Street Part 3, 1666. Now I'm not going to go into extreme details here, this is just to give you my final thoughts and opinions on this uh, on this third chapter and uh, and how I feel about the uh, trilogy. <clears throat> so uh, I'm not going to go into all kinds of details and throwing in screenshots and all kinds of stuff this time. We're just going to keep it real simple, okay? Uh, since there's about 10,000 of these videos out there. Um, the story here on this one is, uh, I'm going to read it off of IMDb. Uh, the origins of Sarah Fear's curse are finally revealed as history comes full circle on a night that changes the lives of shady siders forever. <clears throat> so we're going back in time. Each film has went back a number of years, and this one goes back, you know, like 300 years. And uh, we finally see uh, the origins and what happened uh, in Sarah's life uh, that led up to our uh, 1994 film. <clears throat> now, let's go over... Uh, the cast. Now I'm going to butcher names. Uh, I'm no good with names. I'm going to butcher every one of them. So please forgive me. And I'm going to give you a, a whole list of them. And uh, yeah. So let's get on. Uh, we have Kiana Madeira as Sarah Fear. We have Ashley Zuckerman as Solomon Good. Jillian Jacobs as Adult Ziggy. We have Olivia Scott Welch as Hannah Miller, Elizabeth Scalpel or Scopel, uh, as the real Sarah Fear. <clears throat> we have Benjamin Flores Jr. as Henry. We have Randy Havens as George Fear. We have Julia Rehwald as Lizzie. We have Matthew Zuck as Elijah Good. We have Fred Hetchinger. I'm pretty close with that as Isaac. We have Michael Chandler as the pastor, Cyrus Miller. We have Sadi Sink as Constance. We have Emily Rudd as Abigail. Lacey Camp as Grace Miller. We have McCabe Sly, I assume it's Sly, as Mad Thomas. We have Jordan Ann Spiro as The Widow. We have Jeremy Ford as Caleb and Patrick Ropper or Roper as Union Townsman 1. I don't know how important that one was, but that's what I'm giving you. So, <clears throat> my thoughts and opinions on this movie are I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. Uh, looking back at uh, what Sarah Fear went through, uh, in her life uh, when all this uh, began is very interesting and it's kind of a neat way uh, like I mentioned before in my other videos uh, with the other Fear Street movies is it's kind of interesting how they're mixing in uh, they mixed in you know uh, like the witch you know lore with some slasher uh, elements and they kind of combined them and gave us something a little different, a little interesting. And uh, seeing its origins in this film, I think is pretty neat. It's pretty interesting. And uh, I can see myself going back and watching the entire trilogy again. Even though I wasn't super sold on the first movie, uh, after reevaluating things, uh, you know... Uh, sometimes we're kind of hasty and we jump and uh, and and we say things just kind of spur of the moment. And my my review, you can go back and watch that one on the uh, Fear Street 1994. I wasn't super impressed, uh, and I think it's because I was seeing a lot of hype and a lot of craze for it, and I just kind of had my hopes up a little bit maybe. And there was some good moments in it, some really good moments, but. You know, I was kind of let down at the end of the day. And then part two, uh, Fear Street 1978, I thought it was great. 
it was great fun. It was a great slasher, and like I said in the review, it could have been a standalone movie had they just kind of reworked uh, the opening and the ending and just kind of, you know, fixed a couple things right in there. Uh, it could have been a really interesting and fun slasher just by itself. So back on to the uh, third chapter here. Um, I really, uh, I, I really felt a lot of the characters in this movie. Um, I felt a lot of uh, great acting was in this movie, and I, I hope that it doesn't go unrecognized. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name one in particular. Really, one of the main, very main characters, Kiana Madeira. I, I know it's probably not correct how you say it. Uh, in, in this movie, she played Seraph uh, Fear. Um, not to be confused with the actual real Seraph Fear uh, uh, by uh, Elizabeth uh, Scopel played her. But Kiana in this one plays Sarah, uh, Sarah Fear. Um, her acting in this is top of the line, top notch. You feel her emotion, her sorrow, her despair, her struggles, and everything in her acting uh her her emotions her her face her, her facial expressions just everything there's moments in here uh, especially uh kind of getting close to the end where it's you know very serious acting and heartbreaking and traumatic and you really feel this girl uh really putting her heart and soul into this character and that goes to several of the characters uh several of the actors um uh, really all over uh, through the whole spectrum there they all did a really good job and i'm really impressed you know you don't find uh this type of uh talent or you know uh, acting in, in that sort of thing all the time in these kind of movies Especially uh, movies just, that just kind of come out of nowhere like this did and kind of hit the scene and, you know, 100 miles an hour. You know, you, you don't you don't always get this kind of performance out of people. So I was pretty impressed, really, with everyone on here uh, in, in the movie. And, uh, and I know the movie does touch on... Uh, there are books uh, out there that came out before the movies and they're not exactly with the books and all that, but... I'm not a reader, so I don't know that. I'm just going by uh, the movies that I see and what's presented, and um, I appreciate what they did. I think they did a really good job from the cinematography to uh, the audio and the acting and the locations. And, uh, again, touching on that lighting, there's some moments in here that are lit really brilliantly in all three of the movies. Uh, and the the camera work and and just kind of the way things are done and they did a really fantastic job I'm really surprised and I can definitely see myself going back and watching this trilogy again uh, it was it was fun I mean it's kind of heartbreaking and sad but at the same time it does have some fun elements to it that you get to experience along the way it really uh, a, a really a surprise <laughs> so uh yeah um that's kind of my outlook on this movie and the trilogy in general you know if i had to give this movie alone a score i'd probably give it a four out of five and really the whole uh the whole trilogy i'd probably give a four out of five uh, even with the low score that i gave the first movie you know like i said you kind of reevaluate and look at look at things again and and really the first movie wasn't that bad it just uh it, it wasn't making a whole lot of sense and it just kind of seemed kind of overdone and cliche and moments uh, that you get but uh as a whole package uh for the trilogy i give it a definite four out of five and uh it, i'm definitely gonna go back and rewatch them and uh enjoy uh, maybe digging a little deeper and uh catching things maybe i missed so anyway guys uh that's kind of my little overview my little discussion and uh kind of review i guess of the uh the movies and uh, i hope you i hope that that they continue doing well they seem to have uh, really you know took hold and took off 
So, yeah. Uh, anyway, if you hadn't seen them, go check them out. I recommend them. I think you'll enjoy them. Make sure you watch them in order. Don't watch them out of order until you've already seen them, and then you can just watch whatever you want to watch. But uh, there's a good story to be had. And, uh, you know, I really I, I like the 1666 part a lot uh, because there's a lot of feeling, emotion, heart, uh, despair, loss, uh, confusion, and... Uh, you know, a feeling of being an outcast and all that kind of stuff. And, well, unfortunately, that's what a lot of times religion can do to you. Because during these times, uh, you know, and the Salem witch trials and all that kind of stuff, uh, a lot of people were put to death and cast out and, uh, and you know, just done horribly wrong uh, just because they might have been a little different. And whatever the difference is, you can imagine what the difference is you know everyone has little differences and even if you have you know a slight disability or something you would have been looked at as you know a witch as cursed or, or something along them lines and most likely killed so uh the story at the end of the day the story has really a, a significant meaning and uh an emotional meaning and it's not just a fun slasher in some moments and some fun interesting parts and moments and uh, a little comedy you know poke here and there and some you know good chemistry it's it's also really a good touching endearing uh, story that uh, really at the end of the day is kind of based on facts so you know facts to you know loosely lose that as you know I'm not saying these people are <laughs> That it was fact. I'm just saying with the witches and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my outlook on the on the movies. Uh, I think I think they did a really good job, and I'm happy. I'm, you know, it's not it's not easy to surprise me or make me happy with a movie these days because I've seen so much. You know, I've grown up through the '70s, '80s, and '90s. I've seen the best that you can put out there. So, and that's on cinema and TV. So it's hard to impress a lot of people my age and older because we've been there and done it. We've seen the greats. So I recommend this. It's it's good fun. It's a good endearing, uh, heart tugging kind of story as well. So I think you'll be surprised, guys. I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Leave some comments in there. Let me know what you think about the trilogy. Uh, Go check out the playlist. I have all kind of videos in my playlist. I, I cover a lot of topics, a lot of subjects. I do a lot of things. I have a lot of hobbies, passions, loves, desires in my life. And I put them all out there for everyone to uh, get a glimpse of. All right? I hope to inspire you to do things as well. Uh, live life and enjoy life. And uh, also while you're at it, hey, why not go ahead and check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. All right? Like, share, subscribe, comment. Throw me out there. All right? Guys, don't forget. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. And have an awesome day doing it. And we'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. Shepard how? Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!